Okie dokie. Let's start this uh, Captain Morgan pumpkin pie off. I should have had this ready for Christmas. Ben, eh. It's still colder than a witch's tit out there. Anyway, this is a pretty standard pumpkin pie recipe. What you want to do is you want to have three quarters of a cup of granulated sugar, a half a teaspoon of salt, a teaspoon of ground cinnamon, half a teaspoon of ground ginger, a quarter teaspoon of cloves, and two large eggs that you beat the living shit out of. And uh, I just used a stand mixer on about medium heat to pull it off. And then you want to add one can of pumpkin puree or just the Libby's, you know, 100% can of pumpkin. <clears throat> you can find this in any baking aisle or grocery or uh, canned vegetable aisle, any grocery store in this wonderful little old uh, country of ours. Also, make sure you add, I just went with about a third of a cup of Morgan, which is about a shot and a half or so. Um, just make sure you add this in uh, before you start mixing it up. Now, once you've got everything in there on about medium heat, start mixing the pumpkin. And then you want to add one can, um, basically a 12-ounce can of carnation evaporated milk or any other brand of evaporated milk. And um, you just want to mix this till it's all well and good. Um, I think I did mine for about a minute. I kind of drizzled in the milk slowly, so it got a little bit more emulsified in there. And uh, while this is going on, you want to preheat your oven to 425 degrees. Now, you want to take a standard pie crust. You can make it yourself, buy it frozen, use a graham cracker crust. Doesn't matter. Use whatever you like. And you want to pour the mix into the pie crust. And then you want to bake it at 425 for 15 minutes. Then you reduce the temperature to 350 degrees and bake for 30 to 40 minutes or until you can put a knife in and it comes out clear. Mine took about 40 minutes, so. And after about 40 minutes, you should have a pie that looks something like this. And that's Captain Morgan Pumpkin Pie. Done.